Alright guys, back here with Hayden, and uh, he wanted to show you guys his updated hero profile, and uh, before we get into it, we're going to go ahead and shout out the, the store in the Shopify. We got the Dark Law Destiny Hero play map, Dark Law on the other side. Check out the Shopify link in the description. We also have Dark Law t-shirts and stuff like that. If you want custom merch, you can always email us at airfaregaming at gmail.com, and uh, make sure you're smashing that like button and leaving some comments, because last time you guys blew it up, it actually beat our record for most likes on the channel, uh -oh. I really appreciate it from the Hero fam. Let's get into it. Uh, so, uh, I'm playing a Destiny variant of the Hero deck, um, so I'll start off with the E-Hero package. So I'm playing one, uh, Liquid Soldier. Sorry, I'll flip it upside down so you guys can see it. Uh, two Shadow Mist, two Stratos. Um, Stratos is a great starter, Shadow Mist is a great dumper, and then Liquid is obviously your, uh, draw card. So those are my E-Heroes. And then for the Destiny package, obviously you have your staples, you have your Plasma, probably one of the MVP cards in the deck. You have your one Denier and two Malicious. Uh, everybody runs those in all heroes. Uh, right now, Dark Angel is super good. Uh, put it on against Kashtira. They can't really do much with it. It basically can win you the game. Um, I'm also playing... The one, Dreadmaster. Got to explain that one. Yeah, so Dreadmaster is a cool card. So um, when you do the Destiny Fusion Destiny combo, you can actually pop your Dominance and bring back your DPE and, uh, and two other D heroes. And then on the standby phase of your next turn, DPE's effect resolves and you bring him out and he basically protects all your D heroes on the field from being destroyed by battle or card, uh, card effect for the turn. So, super fun play. Don't get to do it too often, but when it does go off, he's crazy. Um, so, I, I like him in the deck. And then I play Decider. Uh, really fun card to play. Uh, isn't able to be targeted for an attack. My monster is level 6 or higher, and then in phase he gets to add me back a hero from the graveyard. Uh, then the Vision Hero package, I play 3 Ferris. The 1 of Increase. And then the two Vion. I uh, played around with it a little bit. <clears throat> I don't think two increase is bad, but uh, it's already a tight deck list, so um, you can get away with playing just the one right now. Uh, and then that will wrap up my monsters. And then for <clears throat> the spells, my one ofs, I have one Called by the Grave, one Miracle Fusion, one Poly, uh, one Foolish, and one Reinforcement of the Army. Um, all of them are pretty staple cards. The, call of, uh, the Foolish Burial is actually um, a really good startup card. If you kind of have like a bricky hand and you have this card in your hand, you can dump the Shadow Mist and just start your combos off of that. <clears throat> um, then I play three Super Polys in the main. How was um, that yeah, no, it's a super good card right now. Uh, I just now put it back into the main since the, the ban list came out, and um, I'm actually able to go into my favorite uh, hero right now, which is Nova Master, so there's a lot of fire uh, attributes right now, so, you know, fun card to play, super, super solid. Then I play two E-Calls, uh, really good just startup card. Three of the hero lives. Still can't believe that card's a three right now. I know, I love it, you know. Super good card. First, when you see it in your opening hand, usually combo off heavy. Uh, Fusion Destiny, three. Three mass change. And then probably the MVP of this entire deck, the D-Force. Um, just played out a regional two weeks ago, and this thing went crazy. Um, basically what it does, Plasma's on the field, protects all cards that you control from being targeted, um, and then your Plasma can do two attacks in the turn, and he gains 100 attack for each uh, monster in either graveyard. So you get your plasma super beefy, even if it doesn't have you know, anything attached to it, um, he still gets pretty big, and then he can attack twice. So uh, yeah, awesome card, super, super good in the deck right now, and um, I think you have to play it at three. And then the trap lineup, I play three imperm. Generic, uh, hits just about everything that... Best hand trap. Yeah, best hand trap in the game right now for sure. Um, so that's that's how I like it. It's 43. Um, you know, I'm sure there's room to cut some things out if I really wanted to, but the deck actually plays pretty consistently. Uh, I don't really break that often. 
Um, so I'm happy with how it runs right now. Uh, still going to play test a little bit more against Kesh Tier because uh, yeah, it's a tough deck to play against for heroes specifically. Uh, for the extra deck, I play the one Wonder Driver, the two Cross Crusaders. Come on, Konami, give him a higher rarity. Um, those are my links. And then for the Elemental Heroes, I play the one Sunrise, very solid card. The one Escrito, the one Nova Master, that's my guy. And then the one Ab Zero. Uh, Nova Master can honestly, I just play him because uh, he's my favorite. But he has a lot of targets right now. Uh, but he can obviously he can honestly be swapped out for uh, Draco Sepelia or something like a Mud Dragon if you really wanted to. Uh, but I like him, so I play him. Um, and then the Destiny Hero lineup, <clears throat> I play the DPE. Um, I've thought about going to two because, you know, getting that one DPE banished um, and then having that the cards in the deck to be able to go into a second one is actually um, something I did at the regional a couple of times with this jewel banishing things out of the graveyard whenever he'd use his effect. So uh, having two is not bad. Um, but I play one right now. Bestials are not as common now. No, they're not. But with Cash Tier being the way it is, um, I did get my DP ban or banished a couple of times, and I wish I had another one of the deck to, to go into. So just something to think about. Um, and then Dominance, honestly, a super underrated card. Uh, lets you look at the top five cards of either your deck or your opponent's, put them in any order, and then um, place them back on top of the deck. And then when he's destroyed, he gets a special summon out. Um, three Destiny Heroes from the Graveyard. Um, so really fun combo that you can do. Um, and then obviously if you use your Denier, you can special summon them back out on your opponent's turn and um, use them again. So it just keeps your Malicious live in the Graveyard. Um, and then for the Game 3, Burn, uh, Dystopia. And then I'll go into my Masked Heroes. I played two Dark Laws. Uh, he's honestly was probably the best card in the extra deck and I would say that he's lost a little bit of his um, strength just because the meta changed and things aren't it's not a big of a deal if when things get banished but still a super good card uh, definitely still want him at two um, and then just for the dodges I, I play the one master of blast um, and then the board the back row hit is the one master of acid and then my one super poly target that I play right now, like I said, Draco Sapelia is another good option that you could be playing for probably the Nova Master I'd take out. And Mud Dragon's good. Yeah, Mud Dragon's pretty solid too. Um, but yeah, so I play Garua. Um, so that's the extra deck. And then still messing around with the side. Um, this format's kind of can be really good for us, but it also can be kind of challenging for us. Um, you definitely have to think through your plays and. Um, side deck's really important here, so I'm kind of messing around with it, but currently I'm playing three Lava Golem, really solid card, um, three Lightning Storm, three Evenly, three Dark Ruler, and three Nib. Um, so I think all of them are have their uses, and um, I think a lot of people underestimate the power of you know, set cards, so I think Storm definitely has its place in the meta right now. Um, I'll probably end up playtesting with some of the new books, like Book of Eclipse, or um, and seeing how that rolls in the deck. Um, but for right now, this is what I have, so this is how I like to play it. Um, overall, the deck is in a pretty good, like, rogue deck. For, uh, I'd say it's pretty good position, but, um, you know, it's always going to be a deck that has a role, but uh, you just got to be able to play out of a lot of situations that most decks might not have to play out of. So um, super fun to play. I'll always be playing heroes, but um, thanks for watching. Give that like button a smash and uh, hero deck best deck. Yes, sir. Shout out to the hero group. Deuces.